Swedish defense group Saab is advancing its engagement with the Philippine Air Force PAF, as part of efforts to meet the service's stated requirement to procure a multi-role combat aircraft over the coming few years. The planned acquisition known in the Philippines as the Multi-Role Fighter MRF, program has not yet been formalized through the issue of a Request for Information RFI, but Saab has already strongly positioned its Gripen platform to meet the requirement when it goes to tender. Recent reports from the Philippines that President Rodrigo Duterte has now approved the MRF acquisition in principle suggest that the program may move ahead soon, in line with the Armed Forces of the Philippines AFP, Second Verizon Modernization Program, which runs 2018-23. Funding for Second Horizon, which includes the MRF as one of its key acquisition projects, has been set at PHP 289 billion, USD 5.46 billion. Commenting on the reported progress in the MRF program, a Saab spokesperson told Jane's on 11 June, it's a positive development for us in the Philippines, and we are encouraged by the momentum that is now building around the MRF program. The spokesperson added that Saab has been in dialogue with the PAF and AFP about military requirements in the country for several years, and that it has held detailed talks with the former about the MRF requirement. We have had detailed discussions with the PAF's technical working group that has been studying the options for the Philippines, and Saab is fully committed to supporting whatever acquisition path the Philippines moves forward along. According to reports, the MRF program is likely to progress as a requirement for two squadrons acquired over two batches, although the total number of aircraft that will be procured and the value of finances set aside for the procurement have not yet been confirmed by the Philippine government. Apart from being cheaper to purchase and less expensive to maintain, Gripen has also proved to be an excellent fighter aircraft, Philippine Defense Secretary Delphin Lorenzana told the news agency in an exclusive interview this week. The Philippine Air Force has been looking for more than a decade for what aircraft it would buy to replace its US-made F-5AB jet interceptors that retired in 2005 because of old age and lack of spare parts. Since the F-5s were put out of service, the Philippine Air Force has had no multi-role jet fighters, and although it has bought a dozen F-50 jets from South Korea, the capability of those planes is limited compared with the Gripen. If the deal goes through, the Philippines would be the second Southeast Asian country to acquire Gripens. The Royal Thai Air Force has purchased a dozen Gripens from the Swedish aerospace company Saab. Apart from being part of the Swedish Air Force's arsenal, Gripen is also used in the Air Forces of South Africa, the Czech Republic and Hungary. A potential problem for the Philippines would be Sweden's strict laws on the export of military material, which limit sales to countries where human rights are severely under threat. Seen in that context, the Philippine government could encounter obstacles because of its brutal war on drugs, which has claimed thousands of lives. A United Nations report released last month also names the Philippines among the counties whose governments subject human rights defenders and activists to an alarming and shameful level of harsh reprisals and intimidation.